Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McAvoy. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Scott Ramp. Oh, wait, <laughs> I just plagiarized what oh you just God. said. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Scott for president. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was ASAP Adonai with that lovely intro. ASAP, what was that? That is the Good Ship Lollipop. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so There's today. There's a reason why I'm playing that. Yeah, today why is, is National that? National Lollipop Day. Nice. Nice, so everyone get your lollipops out. Go to the bank. They always give you lollipops. Uh, get your lollipops out and get ready for ASAP, uh, musical notes with ASAP later in the show. Yeah. We have events. Uh, we have Hallmark or Bullmark. Yes. And um, I, do have, I do have a video from our Saturday drop-in, so oh, I'll, I'll show that in a little bit oh, right but after. But it's not a Saturday drop-in. It's our camp. I mean, yeah, it's not Saturday drop-in. This it's is our camp. second installment week of our uh, stop-motion animation camp. Yep. It's going very well. All the kids are having lots of fun, and they're adorable as always, and making lots of good movies. Our stop animation is so popular, we did it twice. Yeah, yeah, it is. And we have, we you know, if we only did one, we would have like 30 kids wanting to sign up. Mm -hmm. And that couldn't. Yeah, but of course, uh, the weather should be fairly nice today. Of course, the, the whole thunderstorm chances have kind of dissipated. Of course, uh, when I was walking here this morning, I thought, like, huh, there's a lot of dark clouds out yeah. in that today. It's kind of cooler this But it's morning. supposed to be uh, mostly sunny today with a high of 81 degrees outside. It is currently 56 outside. It, it was a nice, warm, nice, like, warm walk to work mm -hmm. for sure. Um, tonight, you're going to have a low of 54 degrees, and then Thursday, things are going to really heat up with a high of 91 degrees. So yeah, just expect that happening throughout the week, and of course we have that 30% chance of thunderstorms happening this Friday. Hopefully that won't affect our live show that is going to be happening at 5 p.m. this Friday. But of course, mm -hmm. tomorrow we're going to have another live cut-in. This is mostly for the kids to get practice on television, and that's happening at 4.45 tomorrow evening. Yeah. 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 And that's about it in terms of like weather and just a couple announcements. Um, we do, I do want to show this quick video and just talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm not going to kill the mics because there's no music to this, but this is some of the um, whiteboard videos some of the kids made. This is by Sophia and Cohen. Mm -hmm. So um, if we just take a look. Yeah? Yeah. Aww. See, yeah. they're so good and they're so smart. But that was really good. That was awesome. I was super impressed and pleased. It's like way to go, kids. Yeah, so we showed a couple of those videos on our Tuesday show. Uh -huh. um, uh, that, that went for really pretty well. They went off a little short, um, but <laughs> overall, um, it just, uh, yeah. Most of the time on job. our live shows, I'm behind the cameras, like waving and being motioning and being like, say this, don't say that, go to this. So I wasn't able to do that because I had to do a social networking thing for MCAT. But I thought um, it was really um, cute when the kids afterwards said uh, that they forgot to do a couple things on the live show. They are just like, oh, we forgot to introduce ourselves and do all this stuff. That's okay. They'll do it Thursday. Yeah. I'll be like, finally, you guys can be introduced. I think the first one is like a tease. And it's like, who are these kids? And oh, my Thursday, God. Thursday, it was like, oh, so who? that's what those kids are. Oh, wow. Friday, it's like, oh, so that's what they did. <laughs> Our best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, they just, we just want to get you guys to know the kids before you know their names. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a whole bunch of new art clips I have for everybody. Oh, so we'll show that later in the show. But, of course, if you want to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our, our <laughs> website. WakeUpMissoula.wix.com slash WakeUpMissoula. <laughs> so nice we made you write it out twice. You could like us on Facebook. It looks like someone just liked us on Facebook. Oh, wow, um, thanks. You can follow us on Twitter at WakeUpMissoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. You can check us out at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information, just go to MCAT.org. Mm -hmm. And of course, MCAT.org is a great website where you can find out more about Missoula Community Access Television and our two channels, 189 and 190, and you can watch live on our video on demand. It's 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 great. It's amazing. But of course, uh, speaking of new programming, um, this is some of the new programs that we're going to be showing, and it, it follows the VSA Cabaret, and I think they are in part with uh, NAMI of Missoula. Nice. And uh, we also have a Shakespeare folio, so they talk a little bit about Shakespeare, and that's happening um, all today on MCAT channel 189. And when we come back, we'll have events with Noel.
almost certainly inspired by the example of Ben Jonson's folio and quite possibly assisted and instigated by Ben Jonson himself. The production that they oversaw and eventually came to light went Jonson's folio one better in the sense that it contained nothing but plays. 36 plays, no poems. Hello, you guys, and we are back. And so I've got events going on for you um, just today, just for Wednesday. I'm mixing it up. So this is just going on on Wednesday today. So starting at 9.30 a.m. is our family fun time. This is over at Mizno Gymnastics. This is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years of age. Um, and it's, you know, they have everything that you could want. You have trampolines, they have foam pits, they have bars. You can fly off and fly through the air. Um, it's only $7 for a member for a child, or it's $10 per kid if you're not a member. Over the Missoula Public Library, we've got a couple things going on. Uh, the first one is Open Hours in the Makerspace. It starts at 10 a.m. So from 10 to 6, you can learn how to use the equipment or work on a project of your choice. And then out in Frenchtown, um, their library has got a story time and craft at 10.30 a.m. Um, and then, so uh, story time is at 10.30, followed by crafting activities at 1.30. You guys can call 406-626-2730 for more information. Out in Lolo, their library, they've got a story time. It starts at 10.30 a.m. You can call 273-0451 for more information for, about them. And then Sealy Lake also has a story time that's starting at 11. Um, it'll be story time for children and the light snacks will be, will be served. Nice, they got snacks. So you can call 677-8995 for more information about them. Over at Spectrum Discovery area, uh, they've got their science sprouts today that starts at 11. Uh, they're going to be learning about rain and thunderstorms, and so science sprouts is for ages two to five, but they're younger crowd. At the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got tail activities also at 11. This is where they do an art project or a craft and then hear some stories. Yeah, they're usually related. And then we head back over to Spectrum Discovery area. Uh, for their discovery bench is pressure and the brain lab is eye dissections. And so this is the one for the older crowd. Um, if you're a two or five year old that doesn't want to do the science sprouts, I'm sure they could probably do this one too. Uh, and then over at Karis Park, they've got uh, their out to lunch. Zeppo Blues are gonna be playing there that starts at 11 a.m. and goes until two. They've got free children's activities as well as food vendors from all over Missoula. At the Missoula Public Library, they've got their kids' table starting at 11.30, so this is for ages 18 years and younger to get a free lunch and then do a fun activity right after. They've got the same thing in Frenchtown branch at their library, kids' table, so that starts at noon for 18 years and under. I don't know if they do any activities. Uh, and then back over the Missoula Public Library, we've got Android tablets and smartphones class. It starts at 12.30. So if you have an Android-based tablet or a smartphone, but don't know how to use it, um, or know how to use it a little bit, but want to further your education, you can call 721-2665 to register, and it will be from 12.30 to 1.30 in the computer classroom. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they have got Movies and Making, which features, oh, no, this is not the, at the Missoula Public Library. This is at the Big Sky Branch Library, hosted by the Missoula Public Library. They have Movies and Making, which features screenings of movies, and then they do an art activity right after that. You can call 728-2400 for more information about them. You have to be uh, very exclusive when you're doing um if you want to have the word library in your title. You really do. Well, I mean, they are all they all say Missoula Public Library as a location, but yeah. they're not Missoula Public there. Library does a lot of stuff. A ton. Especially, like, outside of the public library. So they do yeah. a lot of traveling, especially with their little bookmobile that they mm -hmm. have. Yeah, the Missoula Public Library is great. That's why you guys should all vote to get their bond passed in November. Yeah. But we can't necessarily say that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. We can't say that. So we can't say that this bond would help us also move into the library, which would also help benefit many different well, organizations. Well, I was just thinking it would time. benefit And we also people. can't say that you guys should vote for this particular bond that's happening in November. And it's uh, it, it will make a new three-story uh, Musical Public Library, but we can't tell you that. Yeah. We're not allowed to actually say that. <laughs> or I don't know if what we're allowed to say. Right? I don't know what we're allowed we to just say can't, We just can't plug... The fact that the Missoula Public Library needs uh, Missoulians' help to um, raise money through this through a bond so they can build a new library. Oh man, they, they it's don't have such a great space area. Sorry, you guys. Yep. Don't flag us. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, but I'm just, what I mean and what I am getting at is that the Missoula Public Library has a lot of really great resources. They've got a lot of great classes and they do a lot for our community. So they're really great. Yeah, that's all I mean. Okay, moving on again. So over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they've got a Create the Rainbow Cooking Camp from ages nine to 12. It starts at one o'clock today. And then we take a little nap and then we go over to the Missoula Public Library for 3.30 for middle school writers. Um, and so that is for writing group grades six through nine. They get to give good feedback, play with words, and eat some chocolate. Over at the Top Out Lounge, they've got their sharing in the groove, celebrating the music of fish. This is every Wednesday at the Top Out Lounge, starting at 4.30. It's happy hour, it's trivia, and they also have um, a couple, you know, lots of music of fish. It's jam band, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, but fish last weekend did just play at the Gorge, so I can imagine all the regulars that go to that are all fished out. Uh, <laughs> Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got computer programming through Minecraft. This starts at 5. This is for ages 8 to 13. You can call 721-2665 to sign up. Um, I know one of our kids would love this. Yeah. Kids love Minecraft. It's really weird. They're obsessed with it. Yeah. Uh, over at the Northside Kettle House, they've got their community unite. They're going to be giving back to mud. So starting at 5 o'clock, 50 cents from each beer sold will go back to Mer Missoula Urban Development. Oh, it's a Missoula Urban Demonstration Project. Missoula Urban Demonstration Project. Because it, like, project. I always say development. Everyone thinks, that, oh, it's development or um, demonstration. Because they do all these projects for, like, the community, yeah, with involving mud. That makes sense. Yeah. And you filmed all that stuff. So. I've done a couple of those, and they do a lot of great uh, programs on MCAT called uh, Seed to Table. So they're cool. teaching people how to farm, especially not on farms. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like your internal little garden, little garden. Or like easily planting things, even if you like live in an apartment, you just get mm -hmm. a little plot and put it on your windowsill. It's pretty nice. <laughs> That's what Scott does, right? <laughs> okay. So over at Imagination Brewing Company, we've got Farmers Market at the brewery. It starts at 5 p.m. So if you missed Tuesday nights or you missed over the weekend, you can swing by there and sort of pick up your goodies. Um, over at Great Burn Brewing Company, they've got a charity night starting at 5. This is for Missoula Youth Soccer. And then at the Roxy, starting at 5.30, they've got their Internet Cat Video Festival. So there's screening at 5.30 <laughs> and at 7.30, and it's 75-minute romp through the Internet's finest cat video offerings. That sounds amazing. It's ridiculous, yeah. I'm going to bring my cat lady to that. You should. Uh, over at Lola Peak Brewing Company at 6 o'clock this evening, they've got a pint night. This is for Anna Meals. So 75 cents from each pint sold will go back to Anna Meals. Um, and that is between six and nine tonight. And then over at Splash Montana, they've got their adult night. That starts at 6 p.m. Uh, this is ages open to adults 18 and only, 18 and older. And then uh, the fee is regular admission. That's pretty nice. Over at Imagination Brewing Company, they've got their Imagine Jam Society. They've got a public jam, so you can go in there. Starting at 6 p.m., bring your instrument and jam out. And then uh, we've got some music. There is open mic at the VFW 8, karaoke at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30, karaoke at the Badlander at 9, um, and then there's karaoke at the Sunrise Saloon, also at 9. So that's what I've going on, got going on in your community on Wednesday. Like I said, I've just got Wednesday events for today, so if you want to find out more information, just check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, the Missoulian and the Independent, more events in your community. I always get my info from MissoulaEvents.net. But we're switching years now. We're going to musical notes with Asaph Adonai. A little boy asked a wise old owl, Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop? The wise old owl says, let's find out. One, two, three. Crunch. <laughs> three. The narrator finally says, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop? The world may never know. You remember that commercial? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> the reason I'm bringing that up is because for the trivia buffs watching this Wake Up Missoula, today happens to be National Lollipop Day, as we mentioned at the beginning of the program. And also, Shirley Temple sang the, on the good ship Lollipop back in 1934. So I just thought I'd share that bit of trivia for the trivia buffs that would be watching and have fun with that. When I was a little boy, I tried to see how many licks it actually took, and by the time I got to 20, my tongue got tired. So I just <laughs> ate the candy and went on and played ball. Yeah, went on with your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to do some name dropping here. 
Alan Jackson, Garth Brooks, Dolly Parton, Reba McIntyre, Clint Black, Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn, and Carrie Underwood, and tons of others that I wouldn't be able to hold uh, mention. And the reason I'm doing some name dropping is because our guest on Musical Notes has held his own. There he is. We'll get to his name in a moment. Our guest has sold over 25 million records. He has earned 22 number one hits, six number one albums, six Grammy Awards, six CMA Awards, nine ACM Awards, 10 AMA Awards, and eight Dove Awards in the Christian world for gospel music. And he also has a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Wow. We're talking about, yeah, this is gonna be fun just talking accomplishments. We're talking about Randy Bruce Trawick, known to the world as Randy Travis, and there he is holding one of his Grammys there. Randy Travis is an American singer, songwriter, guitarist, and an actor. Since 1985, he has recorded 20 studio albums. He has charted more than 50 singles on the Billboard Hot Country Song Charts. He has 16 of those that have gone number one. He is considered a pivotal figure in history, in the history of country music. And he broke into the country scene in the 1980s with the release of an album called Storms of Life, which sold more than four million copies. So I think it's a safe assumption this man has held his own with all the other country greats in history. And for, the, you know, I'm not necessarily a fan of country music, but I make an exception with this man here. I think he, he is known for his baritone vocals. He has that distinctive sound, you know, when you hear him sing. It's like when you hear him sing, you know that's Randy Travis, even if you're not watching him on the screen and stuff like that. So anyway, as I stated, he, is, he has a distinctive baritone voice. And all throughout the 80s, he, this man has just dominated country music. And then in the 90s, he made a change to gospel music, which made him even more popular than when he was doing his country. So he's known for not only country music these days, but his gospel. And check this out. He did a song called Three Wooden Crosses, which earned him several double awards in the Christian world, including Country Album of the Year five times. In addition to pursuing an acting career, he has appeared in television and films like the movie Rainmaker in 97 with Matt Damon, Black Dog in 98 with Patrick Swayze, Texas Rangers in 2001 with James Van Der Beek, and seven episodes of Touched by an Angel. So in this segment here, I'm not going to talk about you know, his background or anything because there's no reason to. I just wanted to focus on the accomplishments and do something different. And I think that in the case of this man here, he has done it all. I think it's safe to say that he's probably accomplished more in the world of country and gospel music than any artist in history. And so on that note, I'm gonna stop and your, your, your guests can look him up and see all the movies, television. I mean, I just touched on the surface what this man has accomplished. Well, that's pretty enough. sweet that he can do like, that he can do like uh, gospel and country and television. Yeah, he's that's done, why he's, he's done been relevant too. I yeah. mean, that's why he's been so relevant for so long. If I could sing like Randy Travis, I wouldn't have to take piano lessons. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it, this, uh, this totally reminds me of a story that I had with some of the kids the other day. Remember, we were just hanging out, and then we started just making up country songs. No, oh, yeah, uh -huh. just like randomly just doing it, mm -hmm. and like the kids were totally into it. It was like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. well, I'm sure all the other um, country singers have their own accomplishments, but I think our guest, Randy Travis, I just think he's pretty impressive. Yeah, I would say so, too. So, is he still around? Yeah, he is still around. He is, um, it doesn't say how old he is, but he was born in 1959, so that would make him about 56 or 57, somewhere there. Ah, uh, 59, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would make him 57. Yeah, and he does it all, vocals, guitar, Wow. He's worked with uh, Warner Brothers, DreamWorks, and Nashville, and just the accomplishments of this man is just really amazing. I mean, God has blessed this man tremendously. So, your audience can look him up and have fun with Randy Travis. Great, thank you very much, Thanks, Asaph. Asaph. That was Musical Notes with Asaph and Adonai. Yeah, we have an art clip. It's a brand new art clip, but of course, it's ending 
bef- I, just as soon as we got it. And it's going to be ending um, the end of July. Mm-hmm. But of course, uh, we have another art clip that's an- Animophilia that's uh, uh, going to be, ha- that I'll show a little bit later, but I want to show this one. This is happening at the Clay Studio until next uh, Friday, I believe. Yeah. So check it out before then. <laughs> just ended just like that <laughs> that was done it's over now yep but, but that was cool but what we has just, just begun is hallmark or <laughs> wait for it bullmark <laughs> oh my god okay so what were you saying again um, i just want to lead into that transition too. that how scott and i were talking about how we love the clay studio so much and we're always disappointed because when we do the art walks we always just forget about the clay studio clay studio is just way out, out of the, the way side, yeah yeah but we were also discussing how the clay studio probably has to be out there because it's got all it's the so much cheaper and, than downtown yeah and it's cheap down cheaper than downtown but i love the clay studio and so i was really glad that we got an art clip from them yeah. i think yeah. if you get like, exceed x amount of square footage yeah. you get maybe like five hundred dollars off your uh, rent price, but yeah, still, maybe. it's like it's like twenty five bucks a square foot of rent downtown <laughs> Missoula. That's yeah, it's like this, it's like this area right here, <laughs> and it's like oh, thirty bucks a month just to stand right here. It's like oh, thanks. Great, I can't wait. Can I sleep? No, <laughs> no, you, just stand. Yeah, you can just stand there. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but of but, course, uh, let's do let's play Hallmark or Bullmark. Yes. Okay. So what do we got, Scott? We got two movies. Or do we? And um, <laughs> these are the synopsis from two Hallmark original movies, or are they? So the game works is I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I? <laughs> and you guys have to determine whether or not it's real, Hallmark original channel movie, or it's something I made up. Oh. Hence the name, Bullmark. So let's play Hallmark or Bullmark. Woo! Let's do this. <laughs> Hit it, ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> a romance novelist with a writer's block and a celebrity chef suffer from a bad review accidentally end up staying at the same French villa for the summer. As they attempt to share the house and mend their personal lives, they find that what they're really missing is more of a personal matter. <laughs> and the movie's called Summer Villa. Adorable. And okay. this is, uh, what is this, guys? I think it's Hallmark. Do you, you think it's a Hallmark, Hallmark original movie? Yeah. What do you think it's a movie? Yeah. yeah, it sounds pretty good. Sounds like, a Hallmark like I would watch that. I would get all sappy and cheesy and be like, I'm going to watch this about this this writer's block and a celebrity chef, romance novelist. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, I guess I got to say, uh, you guys are right. Yeah, it's a Hallmark right. original movie. Right. Yeah. Right. Cool. Good job, people. Um, hopefully, you got <laughs> it at home. And Lori. <laughs> Lori, hopefully, you got it, Lori. Okay. All right, here's the next Hallmark of Bullmark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when a by the book army veteran takes over at an alien military academy, he instantly squares off with the school's free thinking new dean of academics. Oh, free thinkers. Oh, God. But when 
they are forced to work together to help save the school or risk closure, sparks fly. Romance blooms and lives change as they attempt to save the town's longtime centerpiece. <laughs> and it's called Love and Honor. Hallmark or Bullmark? I'm going to say Bullmark. I'm going to say Bullmark too. Oh, ye of little faith. Are you guys sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll stick with it. Well, it's real. It's ah! a real Hallmark original movie. Today was a double dose of Hallmark original movie. And you guys 50, can check 50? that out. Yeah, that's good. Half, half. Well, that, I mean, they've honestly, they both sound kind of good. Like, I would honestly watch I actually didn't those. rewrite them. I just kind of, like, put them up there maybe took out a couple words that really I would never good. actually come up with of my own. You did a good job, Scott. Um, I would honestly watch these movies. If I was, like, at home, like, eating ice cream and bored, I would turn these on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, didn't have anything else to do? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, I like cheesy movies. <laughs> They're really fun. Yeah. I like cheesy dancing movies, too. I love dancing movies. Dancing movies? Yeah. They don't make too many of those. I think the last, the, of course, they've been a whole bunch of string of them with Step Up. Step Up. Yeah, my fave. I think yeah. they made seven of them. And then that's how you know they made seven of them? Yeah. I'm going to watch all seven of them. Yeah. I only saw two, Step Up 2, The Streets. That was oh, my really? One. I saw, uh, I think I saw Step Up 4. Step Up 4. Yeah. Yeah. That's how, I always, one of those movies, the people that like have the least lines are always the best dancers. That's yeah. how you know they're the worst actors. <laughs> but they're so good at dancing. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, Alyssa Stoner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She, I remember right when she was in Cheaper Fruit by the Dozen. She's such a little kid, and then now she's like super adult, and she's like dancing to Missy Elliott uh, music videos and stuff like that. She's like really? super I didn't great know that. dancer. Oops, I should look her up. Yeah, I don't remember her, but now she's, she's just like dancing super around. awesome dancer person. I, I love dancing. Yep. That's why I love those dancing movies. That's Check the career out, you should definitely be looking into in the dancing future. Movies. Allison Stoner. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, Anyways, and um, I I do want to show animophilia, but I, I yeah. Wait, so the ammo animophilia is at the Missoula Art Museum and it ends July 23rd. And so we've been showing it all week. Yeah, we've been showing it all week. We should show, because we're only going to be showing this today and on Friday, yes. the same thing with the Clay Studio. So I yeah. want to show it to you and when we come back, we'll do our whole wrap up of our show and show our websites again. So um, without further ado, here is uh, Enmophilia, um, featured at the Missoula Art Museum by Larry Thomas. <laughs> So, Missoula Art Museum, great art installations, and they have another art installation that ends October 3rd. We'll show you a bunch of that coming up next month. Of course, we only have one more episode this month yeah. of Wake Up Missoula because next week we're doing the zombie camp from 9 to 5. So, it's our it's a real intense camp, and we're having it for older kids aged 13 to 18. Mm -hmm. We have one 15-year-old. Yes. Is the oldest kid yep. that signed up for it. Um, I believe, I think there might be a 16-year-old, but there's also like maybe a couple 12-year-olds also in the camp as well. That's fine. 
Which yeah. is fine because I already we know, know them. them. Yeah, we've had them before. We know them and they're pretty chill. Yeah. We know that they can handle Because, you know, Jack and Mason. Mm-hmm. Jack and Mason. They're going to be in there. Catmulls. So they're, they're, they're pretty cool. Their dad uh, yeah. is in the band. Yep, their dad is Tom Catmull, who's in Radio Static, and he always plays everywhere. He's one yeah, uh, even best the, musician. Has He's one best musician in the past mm-hmm. in Missoula. But they're just cool kids. Yeah. They're awesome. I'm excited they're to have like them. super chill. Yep, super chill. Yeah. We have a lot of really, really chill kids that come through our camps. Yeah. It's awesome. This week is pretty good. Um, yeah. Ones that I'm like, oh my god, we're best friends. Yeah. 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 They're great. They just need a couple help and then they tell me to go away, which yeah, is perfect. Yeah, they're so they self-sufficient. They, very, they're very independent. Mm-hmm. They, Of course, if they need help, they ask for it. Mm-hmm. I kind of show them what to do in case this happens, and then they never need me again. Which is, you know, it's just like, now I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? Exactly. Yeah. But of course, we'll be... Um, our group will be hanging out at Caris Park today. We'll just go on there and just do all that thing. And of course, I do want to give a plug to uh, the Missoula City Band, which is happening tonight at 8 p.m. Yes. And I don't know what the theme is particularly, but they usually, uh, this is kind of like middle of the week, but they always have themes every single week and they have um, a, a accompaniment. A accompaniment? A accompaniment? Co- a yeah, accompaniment. A accompaniment. A oh, now I just messed everyone up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> All right, next uh, next uh, Friday, join us uh, yes. for uh, Wake Up Missoula. If you want to find out um, past episodes and more, you can go on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You go to videos, you can see our past videos, and um, of course, you can see all these wonderful tabs up above. You can find us on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. You could like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter page at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information, just go to mcat.org. But of course, be sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Um, I, I just don't say it enough. We should probably start throwing up our YouTube channel. That's there true. Just to show. I always forget. Because that's where we post every one of our videos. Mm-hmm. We have over, uh, I gotta say, what? Uh, okay, safe safe bet is we have well over 400 episodes of that's Wake awesome. Up Missoula. Nice. That's awesome. Three we've times been a week. For like two and a half years. Yeah. So it's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, okay. Uh, without further ado, thanks for joining us this morning. More morning. 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 <laughs> thanks for joining us on this morning. Thanks for accompanying morning. minting our us this yeah, morning. Morning. <laughs> um, thanks for being our accompanist. Accompanist. <laughs> <laughs> for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McAvoy. and I'm Scott Ramp. Here's Take it ASAP away. 809. Out of nine.